Greetings everyone, I'm Yarlik, and I wanted to share today a little bit of behind the scenes again. And uh, today we're going to work on some movement. Our goal is to get to archives, and we're starting from uh, this location heading into Fungal. And we have all our movement at this point, so now we get to try to move through these rooms nice and quickly and never touch the floor as much as we can avoid it. So we start by moving into the room. We do get one frame of floor touch coming into most rooms. So we're just stepping forward until we get control. Okay, so we got control in this frame, and then we can also start walking one frame before we get control. That prevents us from uh, stopping briefly. So let's figure out our plan for this room. So we want to go uh, ultimately to the right here, and there's a narrow passageway on the right. So uh, we could get wall clean storage off of here, but that's going to be right wall, which means if we go through here, when we want to jump again, we're going to jump to the left. So I think we'd rather get left wall. We could either like go back here and grab this, or I think it's going to be better if we grab this one. So let's do that. So let's jump a little bit. Uh, we need to dash far enough over that we cross this threshold and then we're going to wings jump and then wiggle past this wall move up here and then we'll have wall cling storage on the left and then we can move across so let's do that so let's try this this might actually be higher than we need so let's start with this yeah that's i think that's significantly higher than we need or maybe not because we do get a fair amount of fall speed here. Okay. Yeah, so let's start jumping with our wings jump here. And we probably want to go... We don't need to go any further right, I think, because it takes a couple frames of catch-up. So we start here. Okay, there we go. So now we want to start going against the wall. As we're touching the wall, we want to wiggle. So we go away, we go toward, and then we go away. And so now you can see that we have the wall jump flag still, even though we're no longer touching the wall. And that is wall cling storage. And we can keep that wall cling storage while we're jumping here. And get a little bit of height. And then once we're at a good spot, we can start dashing. And then while we're dashing with wall cling storage, we want to hold left and right at the same time. That helps to... Oh, we needed to cling a little bit first. Yeah. Uh, because we actually had used our dash previously, so we need to refresh our dash by clinging the virtual wall and then releasing it again. So, cling, release, dash. Okay, there we go. So then I'm gonna set a save state here so we can easily get back to the state. And then we're going to chain together a series of dashes to get under here. So the next time we can dash is going to be at 65. It's 41 frames difference with Dash Master. So we can dash here. And let's see how this looks. Oh, we actually don't want to dash here because we're going to hit the wall. So we want to let ourselves continue to drop here. Yeah, this is a very narrow gap. But thankfully, we have quite a bit of momentum from the wall cling storage. So this looks... Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Uh, we might need to do it a little sooner. But basically our goal is to get through this narrow choke point, and then we'll be able to jump off of our virtual wall um, once we get to the other side. And then that should hopefully give us enough distance to be able to make it all the way to the exit of this room. So we'll just continue going through here. Um, that fall might have opened some freeze frames, so I'll just keep an eye out for when I can dash again. Because I want to get one more dash off with wall click storage, I think. Okay, we can dash here. So let's uh, dash on this frame. There we go. And we're still off of the ground. You can see that we, uh, we have a lot of grounded frames left over from some of the required grounded time, like... Um, Dream nailing, focusing, picking up dash. But we've gotten very little from rooms now because of the fact that we can stay off the ground so effectively with all of our movement. So I'm going to let this dash forward. And then 
Uh, we probably can't dash again because we're going to get too close to the floor. But uh, we can uh, jump off of the virtual wall. So the wall is here. And then now we can wall jump off of that wall. And you can see we didn't touch the floor because we wall jumped off the wall. And there's plenty of room to jump here, which is convenient. And we do have a breakable wall we're going to have to break through, but that should be fine. Hopefully. I think you can break it from this side. Yeah, so we're starting to fall now. And then... Probably want to dash around here. And then we'll probably need to wings jump and swing our sword at the same time. Or our nail, rather. Okay, so first frame we're going to get attack. There we go. Uh, so now we can start attacking and double jumping on this frame. And we don't need a lot of double jump, just enough to get up here. Oops. Um, actually, maybe we can get away with doing a uh, downward slash. Yeah, that way we don't have to worry about the double jump knocking us too far up in the uh, knockback. Okay, so the next time we can slash is going to be at 18. Uh, because of the 42 frame difference. So uh, we'll start, start wall jumping uh, before we need that. Okay. And then we come back here. Next wall jump, or um, next slash window again is going to be 60. And then same thing here, we'll probably want a wall jump. Like right as we're wanting to do this. Yeah, let's see. A little bit sooner probably, because we're starting to hit the hit towards the floor here. Okay, still working on this one. This was this must be a four slash wall. Which is always annoying. Okay, so two is our next one. Alright. So we probably want to minimize this jump distance because then we're going to want to dash as soon as possible. All right, so in the same state here. And jump, okay. And then we just want to wait for dash control, which should be here. Okay, perfect. Yep, and then we dash through the transition. Perfect. Let's go to the next room. You can see that it opened up the barrier for us. Okay, so let us the safe state at the start of the room here. So this room is interesting. Uh, we got a bunch of these bouncy mushrooms and we want to make it across the room. Um, the mushrooms alone will get us there, but it would probably be convenient if we had wall clink storage as well, uh, just to get a little bit better fast traversal. So there's two kind of main places we could grab it. We could grab it from up here or we could grab it from down here. I'm tempted, I think, to go for the lower one in this case, because if we have to jump all the way up here, um, we're going to have to jump, and then we're going to have to grab the wall to get our cling, and then we're going to have to wiggle and then dash, and then we'll probably have to wait a little bit to clear this spike. So let's go for this one. So step forward until we get control. 
we got control on this frame. All right. Let me just double check that. Uh, yeah, we entered on 22. Now we're at 42. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, so this is another one of the situations where we need enough clearance to be able to dash over. Let's try around here. If it's far enough over. It might be too high, actually. We'll see. Yeah, it's a little higher than we needed. Let's go, like, here. No, that's still too high. We can go from here even, maybe. Okay, that's too low. Okay, here we go. So, we want to uh, get to the wall, and then we're going to wiggle past it. Oops. Uh, started going backwards just a little too soon. I might need a little more right here. Did I hit the I hit the floor there? I might be just barely clipping the corner. I am just barely clipping the corner. So actually I need to jump a little higher. How do we do this? So now I just need to wait until we're falling past it. Okay, so we have clearance. Uh, looks like we have a little bit of extra clearance. We want to go like two to get next to the wall, away toward away. Okay, and you can see we have wall jump. And then we don't have dash. So in order to get our dash, we're going to have to cling and then release. And then we should have our dash. There we go. Now we have wall cling storage and we're chaining it through a dash. So we're going to want to go a couple of here. We can go up to 98 as our next dash. We'll do that. Okay. And then set a safe state here. So we want to make it across this room and the exit is on the right side. Uh, so let's just keep going across the room for now. And then we'll see if we need to... So here... Um, if we try to chain our dash, we're probably going to crash into this mushroom, so we might actually go and bounce off of it. So, okay, we have our control here. So let's do that. Let's hit this mushroom, and then our next dash is allowed to be at, uh, it looks like 41? Wait, no, 39. Okay, let's let us get some height here, as long as we're using the mushroom. Might as well just take advantage of it and get as much height as we can get, because we're going to want to be higher up for the next uh, spot anyways. Okay, yeah, so this looks pretty good. Let's dash from here and see how this goes. Okay, and the next dash is going to be at 13. Okay. And the next dash is going to be at 54. Make sure I got all that right. Yep. Okay, and the next dash is going to be at 95. Okay, this is probably the last chain dash we can use. So this next one we're going to want to wall jump 
off of the virtual wall and then dash to the transition. Let's set a save state. And then wait for jump control, which is here. And then we can do this and then dash probably. Or when do we get our dash back? Our dash comes back at, uh, let's see, 36, I believe. Okay, so we gotta do a bit of a jump before we get our dash back, which is fine. Now we can dash. There we go. Okay, excellent. Let's go to the next room. Okay, so this room, we want to uh, make it across here. So the obvious thing is to get uh, WCS off of this wall. We're probably going to want to pogo this guy to get a little bit of height. WCS some more, and then we'll work out what we want to do when we get there. So as usual, first thing we want to do is wait until we get control. It's here. And then we want to say we're starting at 42, and we get at 62. Okay, perfect. So here, we actually probably just want to do a minimum height hop, now that I look at it. And then we want to fall, so then we go past the wall, start moving toward it. And then uh, once we're near the wall, we can do this. Okay, so we got wall done. Uh, we're actually a little bit high here. So we want to start falling a couple more frames. Let's do like four frames of falling. There we go. That probably clears. Let's see. Set a safe state because that looks pretty good. And yeah, we're almost definitely going to want to pogo this guy. So let's allow this to continue here. And then we'll pogo once we're close. And then get a little bit of height here, and then we can start dashing again. And we're probably going to re-dash, so it's going to be at 54 will be our next dash. Okay, um, we may not want to dash again, because um, by the time we can dash, we're going to hit this wall. So let's figure out what we want to do next. So ultimately, we want to go across another kind of valley room like this. So we probably want to get to this wall and WCS off of this wall, which means we probably want to wall jump and then dash over. Uh, so let's start doing that. So wall jump off the wall and then get enough height so that when we dash, we clear our way to the other side. Okay, and now this is going to be interesting because we could get wall cling storage here, but it looks like we're going to run into this guy if we do. So it might actually be better, rather than get wall cling storage, to just jump off of this wall and then just do a pogo to so do like a, a jump dash, pogo dash type situation. Let's see. Okay, so we get across, go here. Um, actually, we might be able to... Let's see. Uh, that doesn't quite give us WCS. We're probably off by a frame. No. Right here. If 
but we're not getting close enough to the wall. Double check that. It's definitely touching the wall. Okay. Looks like we'll need to go a little further. But we might need to... Okay, that actually does get us there. And then we need to cling and then dash. Let's see what happens here. We might make it over just barely. And it would be convenient because we need to jump again. Yeah, this is fine. We're gonna dash across here. And then we might as well pogo this guy, get a little bit of height, and then dash here. And then we can get up through this transition here. So we're going to uh, continue a little bit. And then pogo. We want to get above this platform before we dash again. There we go. Okay, this is going fairly well. Set the safe state. So we should be able to get to here, and then we can wall jump into a wings jump. Possibly an insta wings jump. Let's see. We can wall jump here. Let's try it as an insta wings jump. So we'll use the nail to delay the wings coming out. Oh, we can't do a up slash because it's going to hit the ceiling. But we can do a down slash. I think we can do a down slash. Uh, we may be off by one there. There we go. So we actually need to wiggle here to release the wings. Um, did I go too soon? Might have gone too soon. There we go. And then we wings through here. Our woodlings hit something in the previous room, of course. Okay, uh, this is interesting. We might want to go to the left here. Uh, so we might need to change the previous room a bit. No, I think we could make it. If we do a, a jump, dash, wings jump, that should make it to this wall. But I think I'll call it here for the video. Uh, so I don't want to make it too long. We got a chance to see a couple different rooms and we got a chance to get a feel for how you can chain together the various abilities to get through these types of rooms quickly. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. That helps a lot. And have a good day.